Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 4. We're going to learn how to work with our calibration files in our ECU Masters software, from opening our files up to do the proper saving sequence, uploading our files, as well as learning how to do editing and keystrokes within the software so when we make our changes during our tuning process, we're going to know exactly what to do and how to work with the software. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our calibration files within our ECU Masters Black software. This is going to be including doing editing changes, working with keystrokes, learning how to save our files properly, and then also going in and learning how to upload a calibration file to our EMU Black. So first thing, let's start off with learning how to save our files properly. Now, the file saving process is really simple, but what we need to keep in mind here is that we need to be structuring our files. They're going to give us ways we can move forward or backwards in our tuning or calibration process using our ECU Masters software. So let's just assume the file I have open here, this is just a generic file that's loaded right now. Let's assume this is our base calibration file. We spent time creating it, we spent time working on it, and we're ready to upload it to our EMU Black, but we need to save it first as our base calibration. In order to do this, we'll go here to File, we'll go here to Save Project As, and then it's going to be saving it in the folder associated with our ECU Masters box. We can see right now this 1808, 0599 this this particular file it's created for me is going to be where i save my actual calibrations to so we can see here it's going to be found in my documents folder we can see this pc documents we can look here emu black and then again this folder is the project name for what we're working with it's just going to be named after the uh, emu unit that i have my serial number so within here i already have a base calibration file we can see emu black project file that's an EPA tutorial, so that's just another file that I have here, but what I have open right now in the background, this is gonna be a generic file, but it's gonna be assuming that's gonna be our base calibration, so we can save this. So we go in here to the file name, we'll call this base calibration, and we'll click save. So that's gonna be our base file. Now, if we start to make our editing changes, let's say we're gonna be doing all of our field table tuning here in our field table VE table one. So let's assume we spent time making editing changes. I'll just make some quick changes here just so the table's altered a little bit. So let's just pop some values in here. Nothing specific that we need to worry about right now. We're just, just going in here so I can illustrate this real quickly. We're just gonna do some quick changes. Let's assume this is what we ended up with a volumetric efficiency table. So we've made it our editing changes and we're happy with this. Now we haven't touched maybe our lambda table or spark timing yet. We wanna save this as a particular step in the calibration process. So I'd go here to file I go to save project as, and I would save this not as base calibration, I would save it as a new name. So I could say VE calibration and save that. So now it's save the changes I've made. Now, if I'm not happy with this for whatever reason, I could go back in and open up my previous project folder or file, and then I would be able to go backwards in the calibration process. So right now I could go back here to base calibration, click open, and we can see the table has gone back to the default values that we started off with. So it's gonna allow me to go backwards. This is really important when you're getting started with tuning so that you're able to give yourself ways to move forward or backwards in the calibration process. And um, you may not wanna save just maybe one VE table change. Maybe you went through the whole process of tuning the VE table. You might wanna save it in steps. You might say VE table calibration one, VE calibration two, and on and on. So you build out the table so that, again, if you're unhappy with the changes you're making, you can move backwards in the process. So relatively simple, relatively straightforward to work with saving your files. Um, I would suggest when you're doing your calibration process and you're getting a little bit more proficient with the software, I typically go in and save my VE calibration. I save my spark timing calibration. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.